of one and a half billion people of the two countries. Although the visit was essentially a ceremonial occasion, where Pakistan together with other SARC countries participated in, in the spirit of SARC fraternity, the actual result and outcome was much better than we had expected. The meeting was held in a cordial atmosphere where both the sides expressed their views on all issues of common concern. There was clear recognition of each other's concern and the need for a mechanism to address them. During the meeting, it was clear that both sides were of the view that confrontation should be converted into meaningful cooperation, as the Prime Minister said yesterday. Although the government was only one day old, the Indian Prime Minister recognized the need for a dialogue process to address all bilateral issues that stand in the way of good relations between the two countries. The Prime Ministers agreed that it was a historic opportunity for both the countries to mark a new beginning in bilateral ties. Both felt the need to turn a new page in our relations. Our Prime Minister recalled the Lahore Declaration and expressed the desire to pick up the threads from where it had to be left in October 1999. As you are aware, the Lahore Declaration of February 1999 calls for both governments to intensify their efforts to resolve all issues, including the issue of Jammu and Kashmir. It also calls on the two governments to refrain from intervention and interfering in each other's internal affairs. The declaration provides a comprehensive framework in, to carry forward the relationship by addressing each other's concern and working on the common agenda. The issue of terrorism also came up for discussion. The Prime Minister informed the Indian counterpart that terrorism was a mutual concern and Pakistan had suffered enormously from this menace. The people and government of Pakistan are serious and committed to fighting terrorism in, in their own mutual interest. Questions have been raised now whether the issue of Mumbai trial, Samjota Express and other terrorist attacks were discussed. As you are aware, all aspects of terrorism have been discussed in different levels in our region. We believe such issues can be handled only through constant interaction between the concerned authorities of two countries. Brief discussion took place on trade and other confidence building measures. Following the delegation to de delegation level meeting between the two Prime Ministers, the two Prime Ministers also held a one to one meeting in which issues of concern to both were discussed, including uh, the dispute that have so far hampered advancement of bilateral relations. Agreed that to, the two foreign secretaries would need to meet soon on mutually convenient days to discuss the way forward. Apart from the statement, which will be on the web page as well as copies are here, copies of the statement with the Prime Minister issued yesterday, uh, although it is on the web page, are also here for those of you who want to take a copy and read it more carefully. Now the floor is open for questions. Um, Mateen Hader. Uh, thank you, Mr. Advisor, and thank you, Spokesperson, for giving this opportunity. Uh, Mr. Mr. Advisor, you talked uh, that issue of terrorism was discussed, and plenty of other issues also came under discussion. But whenever Pakistani leaders have been visiting India, either formally or informally, so there was a tradition Pakistani leaders used to meet. Uh, leadership of Hurriyat Conference. So when Prime Minister had uh, ample time to visit Jamia Masjid Delhi, visit uh, the Lal Kila, so what forced Prime Minister not to meet the Hurriyat Con Conference leadership? Does this mean during visit to India, Kashmir issue was compromised? And second, when Indian Prime Minister took up the issue of terrorism, so Pakistan's principal position is that there have been uh, substantial evidence about India's involvement in subversive activities in Balochistan through Indian consulates in Afghanistan. So was this issue taken up when the Indian Prime Minister took up the issue of terrorism, that Pakistan is supporting terrorism in India? So uh, your comments, please. Thank you. As far as the first question is concerned, as you know, the purpose of meeting Hurriyat leaders is not to complete a formality, but whenever you are discussing Kashmir as an issue, you need to take their views into account. This was not uh, right, it was a ceremonial occasion and there was no, no uh, 
Kashmir issue was not on sub, substantial discussion and Kashmir was not on the agenda. So that uh, need will come whenever uh, the discussion start, but the issue of Kashmir was raised, therefore to say the issue was sidelined is not correct. Secondly, uh, the, when we read my statement carefully, each will have mutual concern uh, and the Prime Minister's statement, acquisition and counter acquisitions, they all refer to mutual concern on both sides. So obviously our concerns on this interference or whatever we wish to call it was clearly articulated. سر یہ بتائیے گا کہ سجاتا سنگھ کی جو اس کے بعد بریفنگ ہوئی تو اس میں جو انہوں نے جس طرح کی بریفنگ دی اس سے یہ لگا کہ غالباً پچاس منٹ کی جو ملاقات تھی اس میں پنتالیس منٹ مودی صاحب نے بات کی ہے اور پانچ منٹ نواز شریف صاحب کو ملے اور پاکستان ایجنڈا جو ہے اس ملاقات میں نہیں بلکہ بھارت کا ایجنڈا ڈسکس ہوا اس میں اس میں کتنا ٹروت ہے کیا پاکستان کے جو پوائنٹس جو تحفظات ہیں اس کے اوپر بات ہوئی دوسرا یہ بتائیے گا کہ سجاتا سنگھ کی جو پریس کانفنس ہے اس کے جو کانٹینٹس ہیں اور جو انڈین میڈیا پر ڈھول پیٹا جا رہا ہے کیا وہ پریس کانفنس انڈین فورن منسٹری کی طرف سے اپنی فیس سیونگ ہے اپنے میڈیا کی تنقید سے بچنے کے لیے کہ ہم نے صرف دہشت گردی پر بات کی اور دوسرے کسی ایشو پر بات نہیں ہوئی تیسرا سر یہ بتا دیجئے گا کہ اگر تحفظات پر انڈیا نے بات کی ہے دہشت گردی کے تو پاکستان کا اب ریسپونس کیا ہے ممبئی ہم لوگوں کے وائس سیمپلز انہوں نے کہا ہم نے مانگے ہیں ہم نے ٹرائل کی بات کی ہے سپی ڈی مختلف تو پاکستان کا اب کیا ریسپونس ہے اس پر لیکن یہ پہلا سوال ہے فورن سیکٹری نے ظاہر ہے کہ وہ جو پریس کانفرنس تھی وہ آٹھ لیڈرز کے بارے میں تھی سب کی کمبائن پریس کانفرنس تھی تو اس میں ظاہر ہے کہ ہر کنٹری کے بارے میں ایک ایک دو دو پیراگرافز ہیں اور اس نے بعد میں اپنے سوالات کے جواب میں کہا all issues were discussed تو وہ کہنا کہ جی اس کی وہ پریس کانفرنس آپ صرف پہلے پیرے کو پڑھ رہے ہیں اس کے جوابات کو پوری طرح نہیں پڑھ رہے دوسری بات جو تھی وہ ممبئی ٹرائل کے حوالے سے جیسے آپ کو معلوم ہے یہ تیررزم کے ایشو کے اپنی تیریٹری کو نہیں استعمال کرنے دیں ممبئی ٹرائل کو ایکسپیڈائٹ کریں یہ کوئی نئی بات نہیں تھی کہ پہلی دفعہ یہ پچھلے پانچ سال میں پچھلی گورنمنٹ بھی یہ بات ہوتی رہی اب اس میں ظاہر ہے کہ جہاں تک ہمارے ریسپانس کا تعلق تھا وہ یہی تھا کہ یہ پروسس ہمارے ہاں چل رہا ہے آپ کو یاد ہے جوڈیشل کمیشن کئی سالوں سے نہیں جا رہا تھا اب وہ پچھلے سال ستمبر میں گیا اس کے بعد وہ اب ٹرائل ہو رہا ہے اس کے مطابق وہ فیصلہ ہوگا تو اس میں کوئی ایسی بات نہیں تھی جو کہ پہلی دفعہ یہ آئی یا ہمارے پاس کوئی ایسی ایکوزیشن تھی کیونکہ انہوں نے بھی پتا ہے انہوں نے یہ نہیں کہا کہ آپ یہ کریں انہوں نے کہا جو بھی پروسس ہے اس کو جلدی ختم کریں تاکہ جسٹس ہو تو میرے خیال ہے کہ اس میں بیٹوین دے لائنز آپ پڑھیں تو بڑی کلیر بات واضح ہے تینکیو سر سر ان یور اوپنی ریماس یو سیڈ دیٹ Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif very candidly raised the uh, Lahore Declaration issue. Rather, he reminded that we should uh, pick the thread from where it was left in October 1999. What was the reaction of Indian Prime Minister? Was he in agreement uh, with Prime Minister Nawaz about the Lahore Declaration? And second, were you not surprised during the course of meeting when Indian Prime Minister agitated the issue of uh, terrorism and uh, he started uh, allegation of uh, terrorism mongering on Pakistan. First, Lahore Declaration ko issue kana galat hai. It was a historic declaration which represented the views of both the countries as a commitment to carry forward the process. Or is me zahir hai ke chunke wo BGP government ke under hua tha aur Vajpai ke aane pe hua tha. So it is a good starting point to build on it. So that's obviously he said that we respect Vajpayee and what was done and we should be proud of it. So it doesn't mean that he will not be able to rescind it or accept it again. So obviously it's a good starting point to carry forward the process. And the other thing, as I said earlier, the terrorism issue which came from the question, which I said earlier in my statement, that both sides express their mutual concern, that they are mistrust, allegation, counter-allegation, we have to address these concerns so that we can move forward and restore trust and convert con confrontation into cooperation. So you can see context in that context. It's not that someone has said that someone has put a chart sheet, that there was no problem. It was a very civilized way. It was a very civilized way. And it was that the Prime Minister started this thing that there are concerns on both sides and we need to address them. And he mentioned that we need to create consultative mechanisms to be able to address these concerns. So that's why I'm saying that we need to address these concerns. So that's why I'm saying that we need to address these concerns. So that's why I'm saying that we need to address these concerns. So that's why I'm saying that we need to address these concerns. Uh, 
thank you, sir. I am Zargun Shah from Geo Television. Sir, like the past edition, India has once again during the meeting with the Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif insisting, insisted on bringing the perpetrators of Mumbai attack to justice. So my question to you, sir, is that what specific uh, assurances were given by Pakistan in this regard? Thank you. Our first question was that it's a legal process, it's continuing, uh, we have an independent judiciary, let the uh, law take its course, and there's nothing more, that no more assurances were actually needed, nor called for, because they also reiterated that the process should be expedited, so that those who are, if there are those who are responsible can be brought to justice if they are convicted. So it's not a question of that. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Sartaraj. I am Sayyid Mohsinaza from Search TV. The question is, uh, both the countries in the past, uh, when the BJP was uh, uh, in uh, New Delhi uh, under uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, both the countries covered uh, under uh, the process of uh, composite dialogue, much to journey towards peace, and which was unfortunately stopped due to certain events. Uh, don't you think that it was the right moment uh, uh, when Pakistan could have uh, taken up this issue that uh, we should travel uh, once again and resume our journey under uh, composite dialogue? Look, you know, the process of composite dialogue actually started in 1998, if you recall, after the nuclear, nuclear test between the two countries. And then it has been going forward and there were eight subjects, uh, Kashmir and security under foreign sectors and other, other others. So now, with so much time having passed, then of course a number of other things happened. So the two foreign secretaries, if you read the words carefully in the Prime Minister's statement, they'll meet to review and take forward the bilateral agenda. Now that agenda covers all those items. So whether the same kind of groups and formats, there may be new issues, some issues may have to be clubbed together, uh, a different CBM, some have taken place, some have not. So whether they come back with eight groups or three groups or four groups, this is entirely the purpose of the two foreign secretaries to review and carry forward the bilateral agenda. <laughs> bilateral agenda mein sari aati hai. So therefore, I mean, to expect a government which has come just yesterday to say now let's resume exactly the way we were is probably was in any case premature and need, the review requires looking at what progress was made and then uh, moving forward from there. And I hope that uh, in the next few weeks, this process will take place. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, my name is Venus Shaved, and I'm from ARY News. Uh, so my question to you is, we clearly see that from the Indian side, there's a lot of demand to start a dialogue process on the issue of terrorism and trade. Would, in any case, Pakistan uh, be willing to negotiate or to start the dialogue process with India on specific issues um, such as trade and counter-terrorism, and separately having talks with other issues. We know that in composite dialogue, there are eight agendas. And whenever there are negotiations, there are talks on all those eight issues, and then foreign ministers meet. So we are looking towards such an arrangement or a different arrangement. And my second question to you is, um, we talked of the Mumbai case, a uh, trial of Mumbai case. Um, was this uh, concern of Pakistan discussed? that um, it is the Indian side from which there was lack of, uh, the delegations not visited on time, there was lack of evidence provided to Pakistan, that had caused the, uh, that had caused the Indian, uh, the Mumbai trial case to slow. And was uh, this demanded from uh, Pakistan side to Indian, that the, uh, the trial of the Samjhota Express case be also shared with Pakistan and the progress made uh, on that issue? Thank you. You see, as I mentioned, there was no detailed discussion on the Mumbai trial and who was responsible. All the, indirectly, that point that you are making was covered, that since there was reluctance to allow a judicial commission to go to collect evidence, now that has been done through the trial as much as process will continue. But now the concerns are much more than just terrorism in general sense. And so the mechanism that we are talking about will cover these uh, previous incidents and other as just mentioned, there are, we have concerns on uh, what you call interferences. And so terrorism is just one facet of the whole thing. So I think uh, that's exactly the point I was making earlier, that when the two foreign secretary meets, they'll uh, review not only the subjects, but the scope 
and the progress that was made in each case and then reformulate what needs to be done under what forum, what kind of groups or whichever way. So it does require a reformulation, so you please wait for that stage to arrive and then you will see clearly that uh, the progress, the process is moving much more decisively. She has to decide. Do you want to give time for a supplementary? <laughs> yeah. जो तो हाँ हमें भी कहा था कि जो उसमें भी देर हुई है आप हमें कह रहे हैं कि जल्दी करें तो उसको कितने साल हो गए हैं डेट पॉइंट वाज टेकन ना ठीक है बस और कुछ थैंक यू सर क्या भारत और अफगानिस्तान में जो नई की आदत आई है इसके बाद पाकिस्तान की खारजा पॉलिसी में कोई तब्दीली आएगी और इसके साथ भारत के साथ इकतसादी राबते की जो बात की जा रही है तो एम एफ एन स्टेटस मुस्तबिल अनकरीब में भारत को दे दिया जाएगा जैसे पहले बात हुई थी उसमें उस पर काफ़ी प्रोग्रेस हुई थी पिछले साल और कुछ लूज एंड्स हैं तो जब ये डायलाग प्रोसेस रिज्यूम होगा तो उसमें आया कामर्स मिनिस्टर सेक्रेटरीज के लेवल पे या कामर्स मिनिस्टर्स के लेवल पे इस पर मजीद बात होगी ताकि देखा जाए कि वो लूज एंड जो है वो कैसे उसको आपको पता है इंडिया के नॉन टैरिफ बैरिज वगैरह की इशू था तो उसके बाद फिर मजीद पेश रफ्त इस पर हो सकेगी थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच सर 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 थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी दी हम लोग की तहकीकत पर तफसी बातचीत नहीं हुई ये वक्त हुरियत रहनुमाओं से मुलाकात के लिए मुनासिब नहीं है मसला कश्मीर मुजाकर का हिस्सा नहीं था और मुंबई हम लोग के हवाले से कहना था सदा दजीज का कि भारत ने कोई नई बात नहीं की है इस हवाले से और भारत ने कोई चार्जशीट वजी अजम को नहीं पकड़ाई है मुशेर खाजा सदा दजीज भारत के नौ मंत वजी अजम नरेंद्र मोदी से मुलाकात के बाद इस्लामाबाद में अभी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस कर रहे थे आपने देखा कि उन्होंने क्या गुफ्तु की उनका ये कहना था कि मसला कश्मीर जो था वो मुजाकर का हिस्सा नहीं था तो की कमी की बात वजी अजम नवाज शरीफ ने शुरू की थी This, uh, thank you. My question refers to Sir Taj Aziz sir. Uh, sir, क्या आपकी क्या feeling थी क्या sense develop हुई क्योंकि पाकिस्तान और uh, इंडिया के दरमियान यान ये कोई पहली बार नहीं है मुजाकरात हो रहे हैं ये तो एक history है मुजाकरात की तो अब क्या उसमें difference क्या आप महसूस करते हैं कि क्या ये uninterruptional हमारी जो request है या हमारी जो desire है कि ये they should remain uninterruptional process इसमें जो एक बुनियादी फ़र्क है वो ये है कि पिछली गवर्नमेंट में मनमोहन सिंह साहब ने कई दफ़ा अदा किया कि आई वॉन्ट बेटर रिलेशन बट इन डि नॉट हैव टोटल मेजोरिटी ऑलवेज सेट कि आई डू नॉट आई कान कैरी ऑल माई पार्ट कोलिशन पार्टनर्स विद मी अब इस दफ़ा इस गवर्नमेंट के पास अपनी मेजोरिटी है वट एवर दे वॉन्ट टू डू दे नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन देयर कोलिशन पार्टनर और यही चीज़ प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने अपने स्टेटमेंट में कही है कि वी बोथ हैव ए क्लियर मैंडेट एंड और दूसरी फ़र्क ये था कि वाजपेई साहब के वक्त में उनका आखिरी साल था अब दोनों गवर्नमेंटें नहीं आई हैं और उनका टेन ओवर इज हेड ऑफ देम ये दो यानी एक तरह की 